Here she is. Model 3 Performance 2022. And uh, you can't tell, know if you can tell, but it's got the uh, the flat. The flat wrap on it. The flat wrap, yeah. See that pearl, you see that? Ooh, man, that comes through. See that pearlescence in that fender? That's, 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 that's not Tesla's pearl coat. Ooh, yeah, that's, I like that. That's uh, looking good. So this is the one we're going to put this uh, performance suspension on. Here we are. Here's the, uh, the, the the Tesla Model 3 Performance. We know it's performance because it's got the fancy, fancy red calipers. This one is a 2022 Performance Model 3 with a pearl wrap. Madness. All right, folks, so one thing that we always do when you begin to work on a Tesla, pop the hood. And Calvin, yep. and this is Calvin, folks. Devin is uh, the, the owner of the car. We have to disconnect the high voltage. Now, this is just suspension work, but let's just say we won't want Devin recording us incognitely. Um, so roll your window down. I'd roll your passenger, both of them, roll them down so we can, uh, and then, yeah. Oh yeah, so, so check it out. It's, it's one of the new lithium batteries. So th this thing's basically half Traxxas or Arma, you know, it, it's, <laughs> it's basically a, a, a human sized, uh, um, RC car. We're gonna we kill the power. We're gonna put it up on the lift, pull the wheels off. And, uh, we're gonna take a, a look at our sus new suspension pieces here, as you see. Make sure, like the one thing I'm concerned about, I know that the the the, the rear, the struts in the rear um, have another, but I'm guessing we, we probably switched those over. But uh, everything else looks good. So we're gonna you know, put it up in the air and take it from there. Here's, let's take a look at the uh, um, right front and what we're replacing. So this sucker right here, and you see the thickness of that metal, not very thick, is it? Then we got to go up into there. Um, we'll have to take the some of the interior and stuff, or uh, inside, inside the underneath the underhood, because um, this has to come out with this. And yeah, I mean th this the metal on on the new ones is much thicker. I would say it's 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 at least an eighth, at least an eighth inch thicker, maybe a little more. So this is the the rear strut for the, the Model 3 that they provided us. Um, this is the strut that, that is factory. I do believe we're, like when we take this off, we'll have to remove this and replace it on the other one. Um, and I guess that's probably where we should start, guys, because if that isn't possible, then we have to rethink what we're doing. Okay, so now to get that lower bolt out, yes, it's gonna be a little, so you want to push on the other side of it as you're with the impact. Push on the other side of it with your finger or, or, or your wrench yep. and then run your impact. No, there you go, like that. Yep. Okay, sometimes, bingo, there you go. The, if it got stuck a little bit, the, the screw jack is what kept it from pushing down too yep. much on it. Um, you could have just taken your wrench and gotten it in between there and with your impact. So now you just got the two 15s up there. All right, we got we got the strut off the the, the there's a cap over the top of it. Normally you buy a new OEM one to replace. Um, it comes with this on there, but these apparently seem like 
they don't have that on there. So we're gonna have to, that's gonna be the first thing we do is we're going to remove this and there's a good chance it's gonna to wanna to spin the, the whatchamacallit in there. So you want a pair of vice grips in there and I mean, they have to be clamped. It cannot move. We do not want, you do not want to mar up the, yep. the tube there. But uh, I mean, yeah, they got the nice little Allen in there, but what, how the hell are you going to get to the Allen and, yeah, and the, 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 the bolt? So, <laughs> the so let's make sure that first so we can continue on. All right, so we, here we have the two together, the, the new one, the max beating rods. And then we have the, so yeah, we have to, this has to go over to here. So. And as you can see that instead of having all the, the gas shock there, strut, the, we have the adjustableness. So yes, we're gonna see, we gotta get this over to there. All right, so came right off the other strut just fine. And it looks like we can, we did have to clamp down very tight with the vice grips. Nope. Um, hold on, did you use wrong nut? Did you use the nut that came on it? No, I can't. Different size? Different size. Oh, different size. Sometimes you feel like a nut. We need to wash these tables off sometime. I've, I sprayed one of them down. With what? Dirt? No, water. Between 16 and 17? Did I just not even have it on there? That sounds better. Here we go. All right, so we the lower lower control arm here we had to uh, um take the bolt out of but you see sleep shoot it's easier to get back up in there than factory uh i'm thrilled that that makes me very and that just means we get up in there to adjust it i think hopefully that's an easy adjustment that does look like it would be kind of tricky to get to but i guess we'll find out won't we all right as you can see we got the the struts in there We, we did the uh, screw jack, helps out tremendously here, um, just to get the, this collapsed up and down, that it, honestly, it's been pretty straightforward so far. Looks pretty in the blue. Snake IO skills. So, Mr. Devin, I yeah. gotta ask, what is your, what is your goal here um, with this custom suspension on your Tesla Model 3 Performance? Are, are you looking for, is that a new land speed record? Are you yeah, are, are you looking like to uh, um, break you know a zero to sixty record? Or are you just trying to get the puss? Just basically, yeah, for increased sexual activity. Uh, more with the scissor jack will should hopefully take that that little bind of your that bolt there out. Still has the old spring. Oh oh oh! It's because you remember we did the. No, no, we had the spring out of there. No, nope. what did we do? What was it that we did last time? Right yep, okay, yes you are. Why this one gets stuck? Oh, I know why. It just did, it happens. Oh. It happens sometimes, dude. I wasn't super worried about it. All right, Calvin, so you're, you're, you're collapsing it back down there to, to put this, uh, Control arm in there that, that we, we did, or not the control arm, the uh, the the spring in the back. Yeah. One thing we noticed, we had to. I, I initially took all the the distance out of the, the the this adjustable spacer that you see on these, um, right there. That oh, it's oh, one it wants us to focus, <laughs> focus. Uh, but yes, um, one you can't. I don't know how you're supposed to get to it without taking stuff apart to adjust it later. Um, two, it was loose. Like this, this car would have been slammed to the ground. Not a bad thing, but uh, yeah. So we we, it, meaning we just use have to use a screw jack just a little bit to get it back up. If you're doing this at home, you could do this with a floor jack and a jack stand, and a friend, and it probably maybe you know the guy that goes underneath it. You know maybe a neighbor you don't like that much. <laughs> Best way to describe it: once you get the first corner done. You know, you pick, as always in life, I always try to pick the hardest task possible first, or the thing I want to do the very least, or that might seem the most confusing. Do that, get it out of the way. Um, there was some, some questions we had about the, 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 the brackets up there and everything, but 
now we, boom, Calvin here, Apprentice Calvin, Calvin, Calvin extraordinaire. He he doesn't get to do suspension work very often, so um, normally he's just helping do a little bit of this and that. So I, as I'm recording, I'm you know, Calvin's getting some like he's like I don't ever get to take a 21 millimeter bolt and nut off, never, ever, <laughs> but he does now. Oh well, look look he's putting his own wheel tire back on, folks. I guess now if one of them rolls off when he goes home. He only has one person to blame. Right. We have to take the frunk. What you gonna do with all that frunk? We're gonna remove it. And then we have to remove some uh, some little dust covers or whatever there so we can get to the tops of, because these, this front suspension, the it's connected to that this plate here, right? So we have to remove all that, it comes out with it, so. This one has a little bit more steps to it, but uh, not a big deal. So that's our, our next uh, thing on the list. We got the rear all done. Here we are, we're, we're putting this aftermarket, the, this the uh, custom suspension on, on Devin's Model 3 Performance. But it's Memorial Day, what does that mean? Oh yeah, baby, we, we got a grilling out. Grilling out the shop, out shish the kebabies, shop. shish kebabies. We are getting ready to dig into the front here. And as I showed Calvin, there's the four bolts up top for there. Um, we got to take the upper control, upper control arm is connected to that reinforcement up there. You got to take this bolt out of here. When you, with these, there's a flat spot or a, a groove in the, the ball joint there. You have to, that, this bolt will come right out when you squeeze it together a little bit, it'll go right back in the same way. Should be a 15 and then a Torx 50, yep. I think. Um, we're replacing the, the sway bar links. And then once we get that undone, then we, we take it apart down here. And that should, I believe, allow us to put the new ones in. Um, so, and then obviously we're using the same upper control arm. We're just replacing the, the coil over, so yay. Actually, so the top part here, you got to take the, the frunk out. Obviously, we, we mentioned before, but then you got one, two, back here, th three, and then you got to take the fastener out of there, and four, uh, 13s and 15s. All right, we got everything loose. Um, luckily, the uh, the sway bar links came, the bolts, nuts came right off, the, and which is, I mean, we got new ones, obviously, from, from uh, max speed rods, max speeding rods. The, uh, um, but just in case we like to keep the old hardware for all sorts of reasons. Ooh, I believe, I believe I can, I believe you can get it out of there at this point. Granted, normally when we do this, um, we are replacing everything. The, I mean, that's, it's probably getting a new cradle, new, new frame rail, subframe and all that jazz. But I do believe that oh baby there we go it's possible don't don't hey the customer is standing right there don't let him see you. oh we're good looky there all right ladies and gentlemen folks boys and girls at home so in other makes models manufacturers they you would just have your your coil over that goes into your shock tower and your truck or your suv or this that or another tesla has this aluminum frame here yeah you want to grab it real quick Devin thank you um has this going around it which then bolts up to the up here right your your upper shock tower and then your your, your coil over bolts to it you know no big deal I mean it, it I guess makes sense um you know in it yeah okay so Evan owner Devin not Evan donor but Evan donor. owner Devin has noticed so here's our two our, our obviously the blue one is the uh uh the new max speeding rods whatever that they are the, the the nice folks that donated these to us and here's the original so we'll be moving this over to there but as you can see the diameter of 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 the new ones is smaller than the diameter of the old one but the rings one two three four five 
six, then what, one, two, three, four, five, whoa, maybe the other thing. Or, no, I guess, that, yeah. Looks like there's more, I guess, because they're, they're tied it together. But, do you see the amount of adjustment that's still left there? And to there, where there's nothing there. It'll be interesting. I mean, if you want your car slammed to the ground, Devin? We can do that. I'm guessing that that's exactly what we can do here. Um, or if you want to tie, stiffen her up for a, for a race, a weekend on the track, we can do that too. Bolted right up. Looking good. Here we go, folks. We're gonna jam her back in there. We'll do it. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. You get, down, you get down the thing, yeah, yeah, you got down in there, yeah. No. Yeah. Just you gotta get her you in go. that, that little secret spot. Nice, nice. Nice. Love it when a plan comes together, boys. Tidy, tidy, squishy, squishy. Connect the upper control arm. You get the, uh, get the upper control arm to the knuckle, and then we get the yeah, that upper brace. Yeah, I don't think there should be anything that needs to be aligned. I mean, alignments are always nice for shits and gigglies, but. All right, we're getting the bolts started back in the uh, these uh, front coilovers. We are not far, folks, from... Uh, so you get your adjustments right here to, to do the small adjustments. There, there's the other adjustments on the big parts of the coils as well. Obviously, the uh, we shall see. We are curious what this is going to look like, how it's going to sit, right? Let's see. Let's see what the... The, the, the immediate results are. Um, go do a finger test around the four wheels. Which, the the, well, the, yeah, the evenness between it and the fenders. Two. Well, no, Calvin, your fingers are a different size than his. Yeah, so it's a little higher in the rear. Yeah, I, I mean, it visibly looks a little higher. Let's look. The other side is, is actually what I... It's not about front to rear, it's about side to side. side, yeah. Is that is that similar to the other other rear? Yeah. Okay. Is that similar to the other front? So we got the suspension installed, it's on. And uh, we try to even out all four corners. I we don't know. Uh, performance wise where we like it but man look at that profile it's factory wheels factory tires basic performance edition but man that is i like it bud that that's a it, no it looks good you need jump out and check it out Hey, nice car, dude. What do you do for a living? Whoa. 